Now we have a place to put our bevel. See it? And now we can just bring this right around. So it's not skipping, hopping, jumping, bumping. Okay? And that's a, that's a pretty nice, safe way to do it. Looks like maple? Is that this is that maple, is? yeah. Okay. Take a little bit more off this box lid out here. We want to duck this away just ever so slightly so that when it hits the box, it's hitting only on the outside part of this lid, not back up in here. So you can see there's a slight camper going back the inside. All right? So we're going to do the same thing with this. Oh, that's a good tip. I'm able to ride a little bit more bevel than I was on that other tool. Now we've done away with the tear out. That's a huge improvement. Okay, and that what came off of your off of your bowl gouge is that kind of nice cut. When I was jamming that in there, I was moving way too fast, and the tool probably wasn't as sharp as it might have should have been. This one's dead on. I took it out. We're gonna. That's good enough for sandpaper, but I'll still go ahead and and. Uh, get this wonk out of the middle here, so. It's still there. Uh, is that a pretty hard wood there? Yeah. And yeah, what kind of wood is it? Boca Bola. Boca Bola. South, uh, South America. Ah, beautiful stuff. I've never seen one with that much color differential in it. Yeah, sapphire hardwood, yeah. Yeah, usually it's uh, black and brown is what I've got. He's doing pretty good. Depends on where it's from. Oh, is that right? Many countries in South America. This guy does miniatures, and I mean unbelievable miniatures. This is hollowed, this is hollowed back under the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, that's so that's cool. cool. That is so freaking I nice. made I made a tool out of uh, eighth inch drill rod. So. Out of eighth inch drill rod. <laughs> and there's a hog of that. <laughs> wow, those are really cool. It's done. Now this one's got a finish on it. That's cool. That looks like you know, purple heart. That's purple heart and ebony. A little ebony finial. That finial is crazy. That's gorgeous. Uh, this is African black wood. Okay. Uh, you can smell it too. Oh, is that right? Probably put a Now, what is this piece going to be? It's in between that piece and that piece. Okay. So you got a black rim. Okay. Got it. Okay, thanks. So he's going to come in here with a carding tool. And he's going to cut it down to this line. He's going to try and make it fit on. Okay? And it won't go on because it's a little bit larger. You can always make it smaller, but you can't. If you make it too small and it just slips in here, you can't make it larger unless you cut it off and start again. This is going to require several things. If you guys get bored and want to walk away, that's okay. But basically, this is the most important thing you're going to do on this box. You're going to bring it in a scotch at a time. We're, we're, we're way off. But it's not perfectly straight. It's a little bit of a cone. You want to make this a little smaller on the outside here than it is on the inside. A slight, very, very slight taper. It would, Once you get where it's very starts easy, to go easy on, to fit, also yeah. is if you get out of here for it. And you do this this outside. You do this outside corner just a, a little bit and, and angle it back towards the thing. We'll do that until we get, that gives it a little bit of tape. Well, we get we do that until we can get this thing to fit over that little thing that we just did. Oh, that Probably good. jam that on there. Oh, I'm getting it. I got two of them. Got to the Quite frankly, I haven't matched the grain. Smaller. You got a good print. Wow. It's got a good print. You got a good fit. You got 
just the right fit. It'll stay on there and this it'll is, hurt. Basically, guys, this is a jam chip. This is what this is what most of the English turners and everybody in the whole wide world use before chucks. A little more away. But filling it back. Party tool is just so versatile, I'm finding, you know, for doing this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff the party tool is very, very versatile. You'll find that it's not the universal tool you think when you get into doing wetter wood and bowls and things like that. You very rarely use it, maybe to make a tendon. But on dry wood and making things to fit and this kind of stuff, it's, it's an absolute necessary rock. It's hitting solid all the way around. We're going to be able to, to handle this no problem. Jack, I'm sorry I missed you saying what that actually is. Is that a sanding sealer? You used yeah, a sanding sealer mixed with lacquer. Okay, thank uh, you. It, it, uh, it, it's important also, guys, not to let it all run down here on your joint because then you're going to have a hell of a time getting that joint. So this keeps the CA from getting down into the grain? Sure, it seals the wood. Okay. That's what sanding sealer is. Seal uh, part of it, you know. Dump this stuff in the hole. See how it's starting to sink into the hole? Oh, you yeah, I can see, see the it rim. Yeah, you, you can, can actually see, see where it is. Yep. Important. You don't want to have a void in here because you're going to take some of this stuff off. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to go along here. Boy, I now appreciate the sanding sealer, the volume of that you got to put in there. <coughs> There comes a point where it adds character. Yeah, well, the Japanese make a flaw in everything they do. Way too big for my box. Looks ugly, <laughs> but that's okay. We're, we're gonna. We we did the thing. We did what I could call the mechanics of. It. <laughs> Depending on how much coffee you've had that morning. <laughs> uh, hey, real nice uh, job on this. Uh, so what's next on this to get it finished? Well, I gotta uh, finish sanding it out. It's still got some scratches in it. It's 120 grit. This is dense wood, so 220 will almost shine. And then I'll, in this particular case, I'll wax it with okay. a uh, safe wax for kids to chew on. Okay. And then, then I'll take this this piece off. Okay. Now, will you tuck that up and cut it off, or yeah, will we just cut, cut it off on the saw? I'll cut it off on a on the lathe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tuck it up. All right. Now, when you're sanding this, I see, you, you always have the marks that go like this. Will you do any hand sanding, like in this the very, direction? At the very end, I'll go with 320, and I'll hand sand this way. All the rest of the sand will be done on a lathe going this way. Okay. At the very end, I'll hand sand with 320, which is, the, and it'll take any scratches out before I put the finish on this. 
if you leave the scratches in there, even though they're subtle, as soon as you put finish on it, they're not nearly as subtle. Okay. Yeah. One more question for you. Did you pay for those BBs? Ten dollars. Ten dollars for six BBs. Why don't you Why don't you bring the finished item to the next meeting? My buddy Jack Shelton, my me uh, my uh, mentor. <laughs> Well, I sure hope you bring that to the meeting after you get that fixed up. Well, I'm going to sell it for 50 and, and then he can get his 10. All right. Yeah. <laughs>